here. gang. It is my birthday weekend and this boy just surprised me with a Disney stay. We have showed up to celebrate me, of course. The birth of you. The birth of me. I like that. I like the sound of that. We're so excited to take you guys along and we're going to give you a hint where we're staying. Actually, let's show them. <gasps> Aloha, friends. We just got laid. <laughs> Come, Come along. It's based off our name. We're here for two nights, babe. That means you guys are here for two nights. We're going to show you the pools, show you the room. I didn't even know I was going to be getting to see all this, so I'm super, super stoked. But until our room is ready, which it's not, we're just going to hang out and you know what we're here for. Back scratchers. arrived at Tambu Lounge and you guys know we have to kick off our Polynesian stay with my favorite drink on property which is the back scratcher. It's Bacardi Superior Rum, Plantation Original Dark Rum, Guava Passion Fruit Juice topped with Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey and of course a bamboo back scratcher for you to take home. And for a little snack we got the Oahu Island Flatbread, a shredded pork flatbread with ham, pineapple, barbecue sauce, red onion, smoked gouda, and cheddar. This is a great start to the birthday trip. You guys would not believe this, but it tastes back scratchery. And we get our two back scratchers to go. I'm telling you, it is just the cheapest, best souvenir that you get for free. Well, not for free, but with the purchase of your lovely back scratcher. Those drinks and that flatbread were amazing. And of course, three back scratchers to go. And the room's ready. So let's go take a look. All right, we're here. We're gonna go check out the room. We're here. We're here. Oh my goodness. Look at this room. the room I think I showed you guys it all the one thing I didn't show you was my reaction walking into it because the camera was not on but here I have mr. Travis to tell you the whole story we walked in and she started bursting out crying and then I uh, started crying too so that's the story when she saw this view the fairy heading into Magic Kingdom and I can't wait to do that. Tomorrow is my actual birthday and we have a reservation for the Magic Kingdom so we can take a poly boat there, we can take the ferry boat there. Can we take the monorail? I guess we can take the monorail if we go to TTC because right now the monorail station at Polynesian is closed for refurb but you guys hear that ferry boat. That's how close this room is to the TTC. And the weather out here right now is absolutely amazing. We got that nice breeze blowing off from the water. We got blessed this weekend with, I think, what is it, low 80s for the weekend. So, yeah, it's gonna and, be nice. I mean, it's castle view. Castle views. You guys, 
have never met them. This is Donna and this is Rick. And we are heading because it's also Donna's birthday weekend. We're gonna find some delicious Polynesian dinner. And we've arrived at Captain Cook's, which is their walk-up dining availability here at the Polynesian. And we love them for their... Meatballs and <laughs> coconut rice. <laughs> Exactly. Sometimes they have pork fried rice. Right now it's limited menu. And Rick and Donna decided to get the Aloha pork sandwich. It's pulled pork with cheddar, Asian slaw, cucumbers, and tomatoes on a brioche bun with, of course, a side of french fries. And me and Travis got the Thai coconut meatballs. They are house-made all-beef chili garlic meatballs cooked in a coconut cream served over white rice, as well as the pulled pork nachos. They're topped with cheese, spicy mayonnaise, pico de gallo, and pineapple salsa. And Donna got a Dole Whip. That sounds like a perfectly named vlog. Donna got a Dole Whip. You have to do it when you're at the Poly. <laughs> well, dinner was just super special, but now the water pageant is happening right towards the beach, so we're heading that way. Fluffiness approved. We had an amazing dinner at Captain Cook's. I love going there. The fact that their walk-up food can taste that good, as good as a sit-down dining experience is amazing, and it was so much fun to celebrate Travis's mom's birthday, which is today, and mine is tomorrow. It's kind of ironic that it happened that way, but since we had such a late check-in today, which is normal for the Polynesian, you usually don't check into four, we are gonna show you guys so much more of this resort tomorrow. We'll see you probably at the pools and more Polynesian tomorrow. Good morning, gang. We had such a peaceful Polynesian sleep. It is officially my birthday, and man did Disney decide to surprise me today. We woke up with the news that today they are eliminating the outdoor mask mandate. Can you believe it, babe? Yeah. Well, they actually followed Universal suit because Universal said it first, and I guess Disney was like, well, they took the plunge. We may as well do it too, so. So I could not ask for a better birthday present. We don't know what this is gonna feel like. As you can see, I'm going to feel perfectly comfortable walking around outside without a mask because no one's here. So I just can't wait for the rest of the stay. We're gonna go get some breakfast and then maybe go check out a pool. We're doing it. We are walking around at the Polynesian without a mask on. It's been a full Does year. It feel wrong? <laughs> yeah, if it's wrong, I don't want to be right. Like I said, though, we are going into Magic Kingdom a little bit later, so that might change. You can still, basically, you are not mandated to wear a mask outside in any of the attractions or any of the shows. You still have to put it on. But that's fine. That's better than being outside. At least inside has AC. And if yeah. most. Nine times out of ten, if you're inside, unless you're waiting on a ride, you're eating, so your mask is going to be off anyways. Yeah. So. so we'll see what it's going to be like at MK. But first, breakfast, because they have one of my favorite breakfast items here at the Polynesian. It's called Tonga Toast. Let's go get it. And I got my coffee, and we are just sitting here right outside of Kona and Captain Cook's, because they actually both have the Tonga Toast. Um, if you want a cheaper option, Captain Cook's has it for a little bit cheaper. The portion is not that much drastic and it's the exact same toast. So we mobile ordered it. We were just talking about the fact that we're seeing so many people walking by and smiling. And I know we're still a long ways away from this whole crazy nightmare to be over, but Disney and Universal lifting at least this outdoor mask mandate is like it really so is normalcy. bringing me hope and it's making me a little bit emotional and it feels like the best birthday gift I really could have ever asked for and this is so so exciting to be able to be here and experience it it almost feels like we're gonna be the guinea pigs for today with yes. the testing of this because this is literally the first day and like Travis was saying he'll still put one on to go inside to pick up our food that's kind of what the new way here is gonna be and I'm just so happy you guys are seeing ours off because look at these smiles and here's the Tonga toast it is a banana stuffed sourdough bread battered and deep fried and dusted with cinnamon sugar and served with bacon or sausage all right let's give it a try oh my goodness 
tastes very, very tangy. It is crunchy, it is soggy, it is sweet, it is savory, and it's all about to be in my belly. Thanks for breakfast, Bill. You're welcome. <laughs> We're gonna head into Magic Kingdom, so we will see you guys back at the pool a little bit later. We're back from Magic Kingdom into the, what is it, Oasis Pool? Pool time. Even at the pools, you must tap your magic band and voila. This is the Oasis Pool. They do have a much larger pool here that's called the Lava Pool with the slide. But as you can see, the Oasis is the life for me. What are you feeling about the Oasis Pool, T? I like it. Couldn't ask for a better day either. So that this felt like very of the time. Of, I mean, I'm sure some of the stuff's been updated, but it feels very like, I don't know, 70s, 80s. It reminds me of like a Mad Men episode. Like this is where Don Draper and the girls would have come in the 60s and hung out and had an old fashioned, which speaking of, maybe we need to grab a bite to eat an old fashioned, head back to the room. Yeah. <laughs> One, new voice message. Aloha, this is the Polynesian front desk. We do have a floral delivery for you here in the great ceremonial house. We got back to the room and look what our friends, Abby and Micah, sent us. They sent it to the front of the Polynesian, a beautiful Hawaiian floral design. And on top, a pink Mickey crystal in the yellow roses. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. This day is just getting better and better. It's just too much. Good morning, gang. Good morning. It's checkout day, which means it's a very, very sad day. I was Always sitting sad. on the balcony all morning, like crying, and like Travis went to go get us breakfast because I was so sad to check out. Um. <laughs> They were sad too. The sadness started to change a little bit because Travis brought back Mickey waffles for breakfast. And when I went to go eat them, I couldn't because, <laughs> because there was something in them. <laughs> we're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> 